Nilla, my princesses, princes, and anyone who trots and minces. My name is Ashley, aka Yar Stitch. I thank you. And this is my floss tube. Welcome. I will be discussing my cross stitch and anything that computes in my head to fall out of my mouth. Chaos. So, if you're a new viewer, Come on in, sit down, make yourself comfortable, enjoy the chaos. If you're the turning floss tube, floss tube famalam, thank you for coming back, being gluttons for punishment as per, and I love you all. What more can I say? It's gone. I really don't want to wait around, I do just want to jump straight into this, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to start with a piece that I had assumed you guys had seen before because I thought it was in my last video. Having looked back at my last video, about 10 minutes ago I finished it, I realised there's a bit missing from it and I realised that 10 minutes of my whole entire video is missing and I never put it in. So there's a piece that I assumed that you'd all seen, um, but you haven't. So I'm going to show you it now. Um, it's a piece I'm doing in regards, well, for a friend, um, it was requested, it was a small piece, so I didn't mind that much. Um, and they, they bought the pattern and everything, so happy to do so. Um, apologies in advance for it. I will put the details below for where it's from, um, if I haven't put them up on the video, on the video, on this bit already, because that's where the magic are. It's probably not there, it's probably down below. Um, this is what it's going to look like when it is finished. Now, my last video, I had mentioned that, sorry, the bits that were missed out from my last video, I had mentioned that I just wanted to get the writing finished on that. Um, so, without further ado, it is where we are. Um, yeah, obviously, 310. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to apologize, no, 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 I am going to apologize to one person and one person specifically, Lauren from Stitching Through My Lipley, because as far as I can tell, I believe you're probably not of an age that you, well, you, I don't know, but you probably know what the words are, but you know, I should just apologize to you because you're not the adult here. Um, so Lauren, sorry, the rest of you, it's English, it's how we talk. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I completed the words. Um, I am probably going to continue with it, I want to say in April, maybe May. Um, I do want to focus on other bits. Uh, my friend has said take my time on it, which, thank you. Um, I've obviously finished the 310 on there, well the 310 in that bit. I want to get all the um, threads and stuff together before I carry on. So just once I get it, I want to just get it done and boom, off it goes. Um, so I will be doing that at some point in the future. Um, so to the person who is watching that it's for, if you are watching, I'm sorry it wasn't in the last video, there it is. Great, okay. Next! Up next is a piece that I decided to do for my friend about a year and a half ago, I think it was. Um, I, it was the first time I'd got fabric that wasn't white, I know. Oh, I don't know if I said, but this is 14 count white Ada, clearly. Um, okay, sorry, I love it, it's great, it's lovely. Sorry. Um, so yeah, this piece uh, is for my friend. Um, this is what it will look like when it is finished. And this piece by Emma Condon uh, here looked like this last time that you saw it. Here is what it looks like now. Let me just check it's the right way up this time. It is. So, this is where we got to. I've done some bits in around the bottom and stuff, you know, just in the lighter colour again. I, I love this piece so much. Really do. Yeah, so we got that. This is uh, Forest Green Ada from the Viking Loom. It's 14 count. I say my first piece that I got that wasn't white. Um, so it's been it's been an experience. Normally I have to put the light behind it so I can stitch it, but you know I do I do what I can with it. But yeah, for those of you that aren't aware, if you are a new viewer, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, where it says between two pines, I'm going to change that to between two trees 
because long story short, as the people that already know, um, got drunk in my youth with my friend and we ran between two trees because we thought there was a portal, because why would there not be? Um, and it's just kind of become a little bit of a running joke. So when I saw that, um, I said I'm going to do that for my friend. I did want to do it for them rather quickly because they they decided to shoot off around the world because they had the opportunity to and I am so proud of them for it. Totally jealous, totally jealous at all. Totally jealous at all, completely jealous. Um, but, you know, things are so. I'm doing that for my friend, which will be ready for them when they get back, as long as I can get that done soon as. Um, don't get me wrong, it is a little bit harder to stitch on that fabric, um, but I say Ada, I don't actually know, because I say Ada every time, but it might not be Ada, but the thing is, I don't know like what the difference is between like Even Weave and Lugana and stuff and all that lot is, I, I don't know. To me, it's just the size that matters, I'll deal with what the fabric is. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, the uh, pattern again, Emma Congdon, um, from her Cross Stitch for the Earth book. Uh, uh, 14 count, Forest Green Ada from the Viking Loom. It's beautiful. It's in my rotation. I hope to work on it over the next month. Um, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, stitching is stitching, so what else? Shall I carry on? The next piece I'm going to show is one that's been a little bit of a burden to me of recent. Um, now... On some of the floss tubes I've been watching recently, a few people have been mentioned about printed patterns. Some people are for, some people are against, each to their own. Um, the pattern I'm about to show was purchased for me by my brother-in-law for Christmas um, because he knows I like the actual thing that's on it. Um, also fits into my aesthetic, um, as the others do clearly, for whatever reason I believe and decide that they are um but yeah he bought this for me um i wasn't overly going to do it uh, straight away however i've discussed this previously um i was doing the when it rains rain look for rainbows for my niece that i previously did for my friend as well um and I spoke to my niece about it and she didn't see too, seem too enamored with it so i as i've mentioned previously i did a one for her so i was going to do another one for her i was going to ask her about it and she asked for this one so it is a harry potter one which I know other people have different views and all that in regards to Harry Potter. The reason I'm not so bothered about showing this is because I honestly don't think the one that my brother-in-law has purchased for me will get any money back to JK Rowling at all for it because I just don't think that anything's going to go back to that person. Also, my niece asked for it and, I mean, whatever you think, my niece hasn't been besmirched by the actual outside story of all this, you know, and... She just likes the fact that there's a story about a boy wizard. She has no idea about the rest of it, so don't care. It's for her. So, if you also remember, it was the one that I asked the question about because I'd done, like, the six strands instead of the three. And Sue, bless her. Thank you so much, Sue, um, who always points me in the right direction. Um, had advised about, you know, how to do it properly. So I was like, nah, it's all right. I'll just carry on. Um, that wasn't going to help because the threads that I had were obviously going to run out in half the time because I didn't have all of them. Um, and I thought, it's all right, I've got more 310, it'll be fine. So I started using another 310 and it's a different colour because it's a different batch. And Anyway, so I ended up having to frog out the top. Now, it looked like this before I frogged it. Um... Frogging took three days in total because I thought it was going to be fun. I'll just go through and do this and that and I'll to be a little bit more concentrated on it because like my previous Realist Dragon, I could have ended up splitting the fabric on this pattern, which I'm so glad I didn't. However, as I think I've shown already what it will look like when it's finished and all that jazz. Um, and what you look like when you last saw it. But I ripped a load of stuff out and was like, right, I'll start stitching after I've done this floss tube. I started stitching straight away. So the 310 that we've got is, that's how far we've got with it. We're not gonna show the full printed pattern just in case, but that is what we've done. I mean, coverage should be okay once it's all washed and stuffed and dusted. 
but yeah this is how far we've got with that it's been really lovely to sit and stitch i mean it's so much easier as well i've been able to watch tv and things while i'm doing it because i'm the kind of person that i like to concentrate on everything you know so if i'm watching something i need to watch it so i can't i honestly can't cross stitch now you think well how about you use a podcast well no because i need to hear everything but I don't know what it is about this, you know, it's kind of the same as my 150 Pokemon when I'm just doing the border. You don't have to think because it is there. You can't go wrong. It's great. Fantastic. Um, I mean, you can go wrong. I did go wrong on this because I had to frog it, but that's for different reasons. So yeah, there's that. Um, I hope to carry on with that. It's been lovely to stitch on. It's 11 count printed, Ada. Um, yeah, I'd say the, um, the actual pa uh, package it came in doesn't have a name or anything on it. Even the picture on the front doesn't relate. So I don't actually know who charted this or anything. There wasn't a company on it or anything. No, just a picture. So, like I say, honestly, my brother-in-law got this for me. He did got it for me because he thought I'd like it, and I do. So I've got it, it's mine, we're carrying on with it. I'm gonna give it to my niece when I can. Next. Up next is one of my personal favorites. Uh, just go straight into it. This is Life in Countryside and I'm doing this obviously for my nan because she inspired me to cross stitch and for anyone that knows and anyone that doesn't this is what it will look like when it's finished. The faces really aren't happening much today people I don't really know I think it's because I just want to get done. This! When you last saw it it looked like this and as I'm opening it up for you right now it looks like this it's I, I love this piece completely I really really do it's just the most beautiful it really is and I believe the bits to focus on are like there's a load of green in here, up here, and through. It's like the lighter, the actual grass green colour, like the lighter green. It's the colour that I did up there and did some in the trees as well, which has been nice. I don't think I did any on this side. I may have. Well, just in case, I think may, maybe I did this brick since you last. I don't think so, but just in case, it will show you. But. The full picture, because again, tis bootyful, looks like this. And actually, again, if you're editing, take the photos now. Okay, good. Cheers, mate. Bye. Um, that's Life in Countryside being done again. 14 count age. Oh, I did mention that that one was 11. I've just remembered I did, so that's fine. This came with Kip Floss. Um, now, the last piece to show you, at which point you'll realise that I haven't actually worked on my hay or my contemporary cross this past month, which I'm really, really gutted about, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um, this next piece is... Let's just see that I have actually got... Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, obviously, as I said, you know, I kind of have had whips and all that and even to the extent of with that writing of my friend's piece I've had a mini finish and this next piece I've kind of had a finish and a new start as well so um, as you will be previously aware if you have seen my channel before which you probably have if you back if you haven't then <laughs> um, but I was doing a piece for my D&D group which is doesn't actually have a name it's just a piece for the group sorry I'm folding um, but obviously when you last saw it I really should have folded this a bit better when you last saw it no this is what it will look like when it is finished last time that you saw it And here's what that looks like now. Now, as you can see, there's a bit missing out here because I'm thinking about what to do in here and I may write names underneath here. But yeah, I, I finished the Druid and I was so, so impressed with myself. So I started the Barbarian. Ha! Um, yeah, I got that far with it. Um, the picture of the Barbarian, again, changedly. 
when it is finished will look like this. But this is where it currently is. So obviously it's going to be, again, it's kind of that, I just picked the reds that I want um, and that's carrying on as well. There is a little tiny differences because like I thought, oh yeah, I could square it all out and all that. On the four that I'm going to end up doing, which will also be the rogue and the sorcerer, um, they're all like 94 across for some reason. The Barbarian is only 93. I don't know why, that's just how it is. So that's what that's done there. Um, but yeah, so just some more specifically on the, that. Um, that's where I've done that one. But yeah, I will continue to work on that one going forwards. That's on a 14 count. Again, like I said, it's not Ada, but I mean, not that you guys can even see that. But um, yeah, it's not Ada, but it's some kind of fabric, obviously, because I'm stitching on it. But yeah, like I said, I don't know the differences, so it is what it is. But yeah, that was, like I say, that was kind of a, a finish and a new start-ish kind of thing. Um, but that is really all the stitching that I've done this month. I did obviously mention that I had an FFO, which unfortunately I don't actually have with me. However due to the greatness that is technology i've been able to contact my friend and say can you please send over a picture of it please so a picture of the piece in situ is entering your screens now which obviously is lovely you know she finally got it she's been waiting for a long time for it um yeah, some of you may notice around the edges. I mean, I, I framed it myself, you know. Um, and, you know, where it kind of frayed a little bit, it was a little bit thin around the edges and stuff. And you can see that, but it's the thought that counts. And worst comes to worst, we just pretend it's stars. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, that was my fully finished object that I was able to finally give to my friend. One of the other things that got cut out from last time um, was that, I don't know if anyone noticed near the end, I said with me doing the other things, that I never actually told you what I was doing, but I did, but I cut it out. So, what I said was I was going to be focusing on is, like, I wanted to make certain things priorities in my life, like, to focus on, because I, I keep having these ideas and things, and there are certain things that I want to focus on. So, I mean, we're not talking about, like, you know, exercise and health and nutrition and stuff like that. We're beyond that, we you know, it's it's fine. We, we will do what we can with that, but we're not going to worry about it, you know, it's fine, whatever. Um, the other side of it being my creative-ish sides. Um, so I had, I have, sorry, had, I have my four major priorities that I want to fixate on. Um, number one, surprisingly, being this stuff, cross-stitch. Um, which I'm clearly doing. Um, however, that is obviously having a bit of a detriment on two, three, and four. Um, number two, now I may have mentioned this previously or not or whatever, um, this isn't for public consumption currently. Um, I've been writing a book since 2007, which it's been scratching in the back of my brain since Christmas and it's wanted me to get some stuff done on paper and I haven't and I don't want to lose that kind of feeling you know and the ideas that I'm getting generated from it because I've got little post-its that are going here and then like, I'm writing little bits down and I'm like no you need to focus um so there's that that I do want to focus on and get some timing on that on top of which now this is more of a bit of a pipe dream but it is something that I want to focus on because again it's been in the back of my brain um I am, one, well, one part of me is a musician and I've always said to myself, yeah, 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 you'll write an album at some point, you'll write an album at some point and, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm no Ed Sheeran, I'm no Louis Capaldi, I'm not even a Spice Girl, you know, well, <laughs> depends what night you catch me on, um, but all in all I'm not, but recently, well, not so much recently, um, I don't know if I don't think I mentioned this in my last video or the video before, but um, something happened. I had to go to the doctor. I am fine. It's cool. But basically, the doctor put me on these tablets, these tablets that you take before you go to sleep, and then make your brain explode with ideas. They're just supposed to stop pain. 
but they make your brain explode with ideas. And the amount of it, like literally to the point where I didn't even care. I was losing sleep because I was sat on my notepad on my phone writing up these ideas that were coming up. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd wake up in the morning, look at them and go, what in the fudge in heaven did that say? You know, but you know, it's so that's kind of happened. Um, I, as I said, I was learning to play guitar a little bit. So I've been going on with that a bit more with my other half. Um, I also pulled my keyboard back out, it's jammed on that a bit. So I kind of want to focus on that as well. Um, the fourth and final thing, um, well, for want of a better phrase, is my family tree. I've always been interested in my family history. Um, I've got an ancestry account, but not one that's paid for. So, you know, I can look at stuff, but only a certain amount of stuff and only if I want to pay a certain da 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 But in all honesty, I'd like to get on it. I keep telling myself every year, you know, it'll hit my birthday, it'll hit Christmas and New Year. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll get on that. And I don't. So not meaning to be a morbid Mary, you know, I'm just a normal Mary, to be fair. Um, but not to be a morbid Mary, but I know I'm I'm not even 40 yet, you know, and all that, but the generations above me are the people that I need to pull the information from, you know, and I want to get all that. And I don't want to be sat here maybe doing a floss tube at 50 going, I'll get on that. You know, no, I, you know, I'd like to have it as soon as possible. So I'd like to focus on that. But the main round and about thing about all this is the fact of working on stories, music and family tree is going to have an effect on my cross stitch and the amount that I cross stitch. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I promised myself that I would start doing all of that book stuff and music stuff and the family stuff from the last floss tube. Luckily, it wasn't in the last floss tube because I've done none of it. I've literally just stitched. So, yeah. Um, but I do hope to plan to start jumping in on that. I mean, I will obviously still be cross stitching, but I can't let that be my be all and end all. You know, I, I love it. I do. But I've got other things that I can't ignore anymore because I'm I've even like touch what it carries on I mean, that's a really bad chip but anyway it's not like here it's fine um yeah I've even started reading again recently which again on the top when I read it inspires me to write you know and out of all of these four things honestly cross stitch is the easiest thing to do you know so I'm gonna start working on some of the other stuff as well I mean, it doesn't mean that my floss tubes are going to start, you know, I still aim to be out in time, on time, as I've been recently. You know, I still will be doing that. Just that I may be working on easier stuff so I get more done, or I may focus on less pieces so I get more done within those. Um, I would like to, yeah, I would like to, over the next month, um, before my next floss tube, jump in on my Heaven and Earth, uh, my Pokemon 150, or my contemporary cross Stefan Coidal Dragons Underwater Bones thing, Dujit, um, because I haven't touched them, as I've said. Also, on top of that, I need to make a little bit of a confession. Nothing that affects any of you, just affects me. Um, but I've lost the threads for my Stefan Coidal Dragon Bones, um, which I don't know where they've gone. They've got to be in the house somewhere. I know they've got to be in the house somewhere. So unfortunately, as, as us cross stitchers know, we put stuff in places so we remember where it is. Helps if you remember where it is, but you know I will I will find that because I want to jump on that one so much. I mean I would have, having said that, had I started that after the last floss tube, I probably wouldn't have even gone in and frogged this or anything like that. You know, so maybe you know stuff happens for a reason, but yeah, I would like to jump on on either of those again because um, I got a load of stuff uh, for them. I went out to Hobbycraft and picked up handfuls of threads so I could carry on and like at least do page finishes on my Heaven and Earth, which would be cool. Um, yeah, uh, that's kind of what I want to do in regards to my, my big full coverages, like I say, and then with the other stuff that will filter in, it will be what it will be, you know, if you want to watch, you watch, if you don't, you don't. Oh, and at this point, just in case I forget, um, I'll skip this. So if anyone likes the content that they are seeing from this lovely homosexual stitcher here, um, then please feel free to support with likes, comments, subscribes, um, carrier pigeons. I don't, probably not carrier pigeons in all honesty. You know, feel free to jump in on that. Um, on top of which, since my last video, I've had an increase of quite a few subscribers. I don't know if someone's been shouting me out or 
if just more people have found me or whatever. But either way, if you are one of those people or you're somebody who shouted me out or if you've just subscribed, thank you so much. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It's, you know, um, it's been a journey up and down with the numbers. I mean, I've never really, really been bothered about the numbers because at the end of the day, if I'm going to spout nonsense on the internet, I'm just going to spout nonsense on the internet. If people are going to watch it, they're going to watch it. If not, they're not, you know, but I'm glad that I'm at least entertaining some of you to come back and watch again. And thank you. Um, there was something. Yes. OK, so I did mention in my last video about someone that had inspired me, Darcy, thanks, uh, in regards to um, clearing stuff up and things like that. Now, I am going to pause because I need to grab something. I'll be right back. Um, look over there. So now I'm back because I didn't even move though. No, you didn't even see it, did you at all? Right, great, fantastic. So what I did was I decided to sort out my floss. Now, I didn't go out and buy a proper floss box and all that. No, 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 no. Ashley likes to use stuff inside the house, doesn't he? So, thanks to the Chinese that I recently had, I was able to, well, not, I didn't have all of this. I, you know, it was shared between people, mostly. Um, but yeah, so I just split them up into like the 200s. So, oh, I just realised there's a zero as well. So, zero, ones and twos, like I say, and then... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then anything that's over the thousands is in there. So all the three thousands and bits and rounds there. I've got other stuff to go through, but that's the main kind of bulk of what I've currently got in there. I will get some proper storage for it, but at the moment I don't have the space. And as I say, you know, I like to find stuff around to use. So I've done that, which should hopefully make it easier. I mean, I have got kitted stuff up down there. That may have my bits in it. We'll check that after. We're not going to start procrastinating now. Um, so yeah, we did that. That was cool. Um, also split out all the 310 because why not? Um, other than that, though, there really isn't much else to talk about because nothing else has happened. It's really been quite just a flat month, really. This is just a... Yeah, just carry on. So I did all that. Um, what else is left to tell you guys about? Where's my notes? Let's have a look. Did I have I told I think I told you everything. I don't know I'm looking at my notes. Yeah, I did that, did that, did that, did that, did that. Did the frame of ding, did that, the bits that were cut out. So yeah, so basically plans for next time. Um I'm gonna continue stitching. Like I say, I do wanna focus a little bit on the other things um that I'm doing. And I mean Something that I mentioned in my last video was if anyone's got any, like I say, any songs or musical artists that they'd like me to listen to. Now, I know some people have mentioned and have mentioned to me also on Instagram. Oh, I wouldn't know what to say. I don't think anyone likes the music that I like. Please, people. Like I said, myself, the other day, you know, I'd, I'd listen to a shuffles on my on my phone, on my bits and bobs, you know. And it will go from like S Club to Paul Simon to movie soundtracks you know to heavy metal to seriously as and as i always say in music there is no bad music just bad opinions i don't know why i said i always just say that i i say this i feel this but in music there is no bad music there is just bad opinion because art is subjective to anybody someone's trash is someone else's treasure it does not matter if you like it you like it don't let anyone tell you different you know someone suggests a song to me i may not like it but i'm not going to sit there and go no you're a bad person because you like this no, it's all about opinion and art is all subjective, as I say. So anyone's got any ideas and things that they think I might like, or even that they just thought, if you like it, stick it in the bomb. Tell me why you like it. Great. Fantastic. I say because on top of that as well, I any inspiration I can get for music, I really, really do appreciate. I honestly do. Um, I say because it may aid in helping, you know, my, you know, when I win my Grammy, you know, I'll just, you know, it's, my floss tube, they, these are the people that I need to thank, thank you, you know, they're the reason that I'm here, um, you know, but yeah, there's there's that, um, but yeah, plans, like I say, those bits, um, stitching, I would like to get back to my big pieces again, um, I just kind of just fell into all that and it was just nice to do, let's hope that will carry on, um, I do plan on working on more on the Barbarian, um, it's definite that that's going to happen at some point, sorry, that the life in countryside will happen again. Um, probably for the rest of tonight, I might just see about finishing off 
that bit there in the black. Um, but yeah, other than that, I do want to get back on my other stuff. I need to find those threads. Um, yeah, short, sweet, still as chaotic. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for tuning in, guys. Um, I hope you all have a lovely week. I hope you're keeping well. Um, if there's anything that I've forgotten, I'm sorry. I'm sure I will tell you at some point. Um, again, you can see some of my updates on Instagram um, at yas underscore stitch. And other than that, I'll see your beautiful and sexy selves in about a month, probably. Yeah. Bye.